But back to everybody. I just want to tell everybody, listen, I got me a tent. And I want to show you a brief setup. I have the, the last setup that I have to do is to inflate my pillows. This tent comes with, as you can see, a screen uh, overhead, whether, whether is what I'm trying to say. It also has windows. It has a window in the back. It has two windows on the side. And then, of course, <clears throat> the door is what I'm going to come through. But I wanted to show you the setup that I did to do some mukbangs and stuff for you all out here. I'm going to be camping out here. I'm going to be camping. I wanted to show you um, that I uh, I bought me I, I bought a tent. Yes, I bought a tent, and um, also I bought two tents. But I bought a gazebo style tent because my other tent, we had a very bad storm last week and it tore the tent up. So what I'm going, what I did was I went ahead and replaced it and I also got this tent. This tent that I got, uh, it, it comes with three door, three windows, I'm sorry. It's two on the side, one in the back. And then of course you have this. It also comes with like a little awning you can, um, which I'm going to, is, I use these bars for my awning. It comes with this foot pump so that you have a mattress You have the, that you blow up with the foot pump. And then you have, it comes with two sleeping bags, two nice sleeping bags, right? Uh, two pillows, the pillowcase. And I'm going to show you the carrying case, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to also show you this. Because this is my setup. This is my setup so far. Um, hold on for one second. This will be my little cooking spot and everything. And of course, you know, there's my Heart Healthy Harrison Heroes LLC. But this is the tent, right? And actually, as I said, here's the door. And it zips on both sides. And what you have there is the uh, uh, cot. The cot. And then this is very simple to put these poles, you know, put these poles on there, cross them, and you just snapping this. You're snapping it on the poles, right? Hold on for one second. There we go. Snapping it on the poles. So it comes like that. And then of course you have that back window. And I wanna show you something I got from, this is what I got from, uh, I want to show you something that I got. This is a cooler with... This is a cooler with a, um, a table. Right? I got this at Roses. So, you know, I can also use this when I'm eating and doing my mukbangs and stuff. And... And you use and you just push these two yellow buttons together to lower it, and it lowers right just like that. And it's very easy to lift, you just lift it up. Well, I have this GoPro, so okay, you just lift it up, you know, so it's not uh hard to do. And um, I got I also got this from roses you all it also came in like a teardrop bird house but i got that <clears throat> along with some slinky you all remember that game a slinky a slinky uh i got the slinky lights solar lights for this and this gazebo style tent which is why i usually my other tent was also Ooh, excuse me. I also was the same size, but 
Uh, I usually get these from Lowe's. They're $50, $49.99, and they have the gazebo style now, and they're $49.99. They only had them in beige, brown and beige like this, and black and gray. So I just made me a little area here, and I want to show you that everything in this tent, I want to show you the bag that it came in. Everything, that, that tent, it goes right in this bag. It goes right in this bag, y'all. So, you know, I watch uh, some of the YouTubers, like, like I was telling you all before, I watch a lot of the uh, Korean campers and stuff, and they, you see these young uh, ladies putting up these tents by themselves, and some of them have even larger tents than this. But I just want to share that with you all because uh, I know it's hard out here a lot of times for people, uh, especially nowadays, and uh, people are sleeping in their cars. Some people are, and I and I also watch. Uh, you all go and check out Nomadic Introvert. Nomadic introvert. She lives in her. She has a uh, a nice little van set up, but she's in her. I think it's a Subaru, and she is going all over the place in Vegas and not so much as Vegas, but um, historical sites and stuff. You know, still uh, the the springs and all that, and uh, a million. What is it? Million road or million dollar road or something now i can't remember but you all go and check her out she is solo who um yeah she lives out of a car and stuff and she travels and and everything young lady and um like i said i try i watch a many many uh different youtubers who are living out their van and you know, all that. But I just wanted to give you all something different. And also, I go, when I travel to the country in Georgia, I like to always be, I usually uh, get in a, a hotel, but I also want to be able to enjoy some, uh, do some mukbang videos and stuff like that with G's family. So I want to also be able to you know just be relaxed and 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 do my videos on the go you all know i like to do videos at the park so just i mean just i want to be able to do uh videos no no Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came What's up? I hope that each and every one of you are having a beautiful day Yes, I do Fellas, I told you I didn't forget about you, didn't I? <laughs> Instead of saying feminine <laughs> I'm just going to say girly, okay? Because just saying that is just a little too much for my little list here, all right? We're going to just make this fun, though. Let me tell you, fellas, I told you I hadn't forgotten about you, didn't I? Well, I haven't. And here's my list for you to let, to let you know. <clears throat> if you're a little girly, okay? If you paint at least one, even if you just paint one nail, whether it be on your pinky, whether it be on your fingers or your toes, if you just paint one nail, mm -hmm, you you a little girly, okay? A little feminine, all right? Now, if you like to put you know, for those with dreads, braids, and all that kind of stuff. If you like to put your dreads in feminine hairstyles, you know those hairstyles like um, a ponytail, 
uh, looking like those dolls. What those dolls? Little powder puff girls. Um, you know, you like to put it up in a bun or you like to wear it curly. You want to have, if you have it curly, you want to have a little curly cue down there. You know, blocking one of your eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bruh. 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 Bro. <laughs> I think you have, you're walking around with a little feminine touch. Just saying. If you prefer fellas, Fellas, fellas. <laughs> if you prefer fruity drinks, you know, fruity drinks with umbrellas in it and stuff, you know, like Shirley Temples and stuff like that. <laughs> A little suspicious. <laughs> it, fellas, if you sitting and you cross your ankles, <laughs> when you cross, when you cross your ankles, mm, yeah, it's a little suspect, baby. <laughs> if you always say, fellas, if you one of those that. You always have a headache? Say no more, right? <laughs> Y'all get the gist so far? Fellas, if you want to be, when you dancing, if you don't want to be the lead and you want to be twirled around <laughs> by your dance partner, yeah, you may be a little feminine, don't you think? Not twirled, not twirled around. Yeah, twirled around. <laughs> Fellas, if you prefer perfume over cologne, check yourself, okay? Just because, oh, it smells better. No, 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 no. Not a good look, fellas. <laughs> Fellas. If you are into BBLs, facelifts, any kind of plastic surgery like that, any kind of vanity plastic surgery, okay, that you're getting that uh, doesn't require, a, it's not a life-saving event. If you're getting BBLs and you have the makeup on and uh, those bat wing eyelashes, <laughs> Fellas, you're doing way too much. Way, way, way too much. <laughs> Notice I said the bat wing eyelashes. Notice I said you may be feminine, not a woman. Okay? <laughs> you may be feminine, not a woman. Fellas. If you like to go to the beach in your Speedos, hmm. If you like to go to the beach with your Speedos, hmm, that's way too close. That's way too close like a thong to me. <laughs> Not a good look either, fellas. <laughs> Not for me. Now, some girls may like it, but uh, not this one. <laughs> fellas, if you wear skinny jeans, do I have to say anything? Skinny jeans, skinny jeans. <laughs> if you wear skinny jeans, you may be feminine, all right? Fellas, if you over, if you a grown man with cornrows, cornrows. You may be feminine. And those plaits, too. Those plaits, stop it with the plaits. Please, you too grown for that. Fellas, if you like to have blonde tips on your tips of your uh, braids, and your dreads, and things like that, if you must have blonde tips or any kind of... Uh, <laughs> 
If you're dyeing your hair with tips, if you're dyeing your hair, hmm, maybe a little feminine to me. Fellas, if you go and get blonde tips on your dreads, and if you like highlights, you know those blonde highlights, must-haves for you all, for some of you all, you may be feminine, all right? I'm just saying. I could say I can't make this up, but I did make this list up. Uh, let's see, what's, what else is on my list? Um, fellas, if you like to dance and you get up there and you dance with a woman and you like to twerk and you like to turn your back to her and show your bottom and all this kind of stuff, fellas, you're definitely feminine. Too much. Way too much. <laughs> Fellas, if you at any time compromise your comfort for peer, peer pressure, fellas, let me say this again. If you, for, if you ever at any time compromise your comfort for peer pressure, you definitely feminine. With all capital letters. Don't be pressured. Is In other words, you want to make it in Hollywood? Don't be pressured by the foolishness. If you want to make it, if you want to, if you have a goal that you want to have in life, you know, but uh, there's a price to pay. And that price is not a good price to pay. Never compromise your comfort, fellas. Always make sure your integrity is intact. But anyway, fellas, that was just a short list. You all, I hope that you all enjoyed that video and enjoyed the um, my little camping area that I set up. But I just wanted to get my little list out there to you for the fellas. I can't deal with no mosquitoes. Um, I just wanted to get my list out there to the fellas, all right? And it's just all in fun. But comment down below, ladies and fellas. Y'all comment down below your list. I love to see your comments, okay? And y'all stay blessed now. Make sure you're good to yourself and make sure you're good to others. Stay blessed.